Well, uh, I completely forgot about this. Mutt Champions. I forgot about Weekend League for a minute. We got 15,000 coins, and what else do we get? We, okay, okay, we got some silver packs. We also got a Super Bowl pack, so that's so... Okay, look, we got some decent rewards. Plus, there are new limited times in the game. Yeah. Plus, we also have some Game Changer pack bundles. One for 5,400 points, the other one for 2,200 EA. That is how you do a bundle. That's all you need to do. The big boy bundle, little boy bundle. That's how all the bundles should be priced. And maybe if you want to add a $100 one, go ahead and do that. But I like this. Uh, game changer packs, I mean, you get 10 gold or better cards. And if you're like me and you understand game changer packs from years previous, these packs are absolute garbage. Yeah. And I mean this because in last, in like past years, Game Changer Packs did not just give you 10 gold or better players. They used to give you like a gold or better badge, and I think there was like an extra item in them. So these Game Changer Packs, I'm going to stay away from. But we've got new limited time NFL honors players. We have Keenan Allen and JJ Watt. So let's go check those guys out. But before actually we do that, let's go open up these weekend league packs because um, I want to get these out the way. I want to get the trash out the way first because like no one my... I thought this was a silver pack for a minute. I thought it was a silver pack for a minute. Let me live, let me live. It's an 87 overall, Jamie Collins Sr. So not, not the best, but it is a good elite pool. He's probably only going for like 10K probably at this point. Those elite players have dropped so much in price. This weekend league silver pack, I don't think we're going to get anything out of which, honestly, I'm not mad at. Okay, we got ourselves a nice team of the week, and it's one of the uh, ones for the upgrade set, so he might go for something. Now, this past weekend league, I was doing pretty decent. I went on a 6-0 and start, and it just went downhill from there. I mean, team... Oh! Okay. 89 overall, Kevin Williams. That's pretty dope. I was not even thinking we were going to get a nice card out of there, but the Kevin Williams is pretty dope to get. And now here we go, guys. We have limited time players. The first one I never was able to go over. It's the new Alvin Kamara 97 overall. A lot of people have been comparing this card to the Bo Jackson card. If It's the uh, most, uh, the freeze card. The Bo Jackson freeze card everyone's been comparing this to. And I gotta say, it holds up pretty well to Bo Jackson. I think Bo Jackson's just got better trucking. Alvin Kamara, this is a pretty dope card. That's actually a really good card I might pick up soon. Keenan Allen, 97 overall wide receiver. This one just came out. This is a new one. With 92 speed, 96 catching, 82 elusiveness, 94 spectacular catch, 94 release, 97 route running, 96 catch of traffic, and 93 jumping. Keenan Allen, at first, I wasn't so hot on. I wasn't so, like, cool on this card because I thought, with 92 speed, how could I use it? But then when I compare it to my current wide receivers, he stacks up pretty freaking well. So Keenan Allen... Compared to Calvin and uh, Paul Warfield, couldn't make the team. We've got a new Marshawn Lattimore. This came out with Alvin Kamara yesterday, and um, oh my God, he on X Games mode. Then we've got JJ Watt with Battle Ready Chemistry, Toughness Times Two, 82 Speed, 96 Strength, 86 Acceleration, 93 Tackling, 86 Block Shed. I said 86. It's a 96 Block Shed. Excuse me, 96 Power Move, 88 Finesse Move, 95 Player Recognition. JJ Watt. This card. I, I don't even know if words can do it justice. I don't know if words can do it justice. I mean, no defensive end on my team is going to compare to him. This is probably one of the best, like, defensive ends in the game. 82 speed, 96 block shed. It's a wrap. Also, this week is the last week for Gauntlet Champions. So if you haven't even completed the qualifying for this week, go ahead and do it now. Because remember, there is no lineup requirements this week. You just go in with the lineup you have, go beat the teams, and that's it. And this week, they didn't even update the overall. I wish they gave you a guaranteed 90 plus overall. That would have been dope for the final week. But for the auctionable, it's an 87. And for the non-auctionable, it's an 89. I'll be back tomorrow with the pack opening for that. And we may also have a salary cap game. But thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you didn't even see the CFM video I posted yesterday, we have the Carolina Panthers Fantasy Franchise. Link to that will be at the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take it easy, y'all. Have a safe one. Peace.